Hello YouTube, I'm Caden, and I am here to show you guys how to get multiple copies of Forge, not just different versions, but even separate instances of the same version of Forge, all into your Minecraft launcher. Now we're gonna start from scratch with no Minecraft install, so if you've already signed in and installed base Minecraft, good for you, you can skip the first minute or so, but we're gonna start from square one. So, we're gonna open up our launcher and sign in for the first time. From here, we're gonna go ahead and see that the latest release is 1.15.2, and we're going to assemble all of Minecraft's files into our .minecraft folder by clicking play. When the game fully opens for the first time, that means all of the files have been downloaded and installed for Minecraft, and now it's time to add Forge. Go ahead and quit the game. Navigate to files.minecraftforge.net. Here is where you're going to want to download your versions of Forge that you want. We're going to get 1.15.2. And then we're going to get the version for 1.12.2. The next thing we're going to do is navigate to our downloads. And we will see the two Forge installers. Let's go ahead and install both of them. Install client, go. Once that is done, we're going to install the other Forge, 1.15. Install client, go. And now that both of those are done, we can close our downloads and go back to our launcher. Now you will see several new profiles. There's the latest release of the game, Forge 1.15, but where's Forge 1.12.2? Well, because the game changed slightly in 1.13, the installation procedure also had to change. Go to Installations, create a new installation. We're going to call this one Forge 1.12.2. And when you select the version in the dropdown, you will see down at the bottom of the list is our Forge release. Select that and create it. Now when you go back to play, you will see all three profiles on here. The next thing to do is to link each of these instances to its own mod folder, so they're not all pulling from the same place and you can have different mods for different instances. To do that, we're gonna open our file explorer and we're gonna navigate to our percent app data percent folder and open up .minecraft. In here we will see versions. And in here are the three release versions of Minecraft. 1.12, 1.15, and then regular Minecraft without Forge, 1.15. Let's go ahead into 1.12 and create a new folder here called Mods. This is where we're going to place all of our mods. I'm going to go ahead and install Inventory Pets for version 1.12. Now make sure your mod version matches the version of Minecraft and Forge that you're using, otherwise there could be compatibility issues. Next, we're gonna go over to the 1.15 Forge and create its mod folder. Into that folder, we're going to put Zero's minimap. To link our Forge installs to their mods, go to Installations, select the appropriate profile, Go over here to Edit, Game Directory, Browse, all the way down to App Data, Roaming, Minecraft. Go down to your versions and select the correct version, 1.12.2 Forge, and click OK. That will load the mods from that folder. Do the same thing for 1.15. Once that is done, you're ready to play your Forge mods. Let's start with 1.12. And when Forge loads, you can see under the mods list, we've successfully installed inventory pets. Let's go back into our launcher and do the same thing for 1.15. And when that finishes loading, you can look at your mods and see that the minimap is installed. 
Now, if you want to make a fresh install of one of those versions separate from the other version, say you want two different mod packs for 1.12.2, that is now easy. Just go to Installations, create a new installation, we'll call it Other Forge Mod Pack, because why not? Select the version that you want, either 1.15 Forge, or if you wanted it for 1.12 or some of the other versions, select the appropriate one. Then you need to create a new game directory for it. Again, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, down to versions. And here, we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it Other Forge Mod Pack. And select that one as our output. Click OK. Now that that is set, click Create. And now you have a new installation. We can even prove it by going to app data. Dot Minecraft versions other forge mod pack. It's empty right now because we haven't started forge yet, but it's using the jar file from another area. So we can go ahead and create our mods folder. And for this one, we're going to use JEI. Let's start it up. And sure enough, JEI is installed. And that is how you add multiple instances of Forge and Minecraft to the Minecraft launcher. I'm Caden. Have fun Minecrafting.